Flash has a huge install base out there, and there's a very low threshold for many people to actually be able to see uh, to see Flash content. For people that target the web, uh, that can be a very important thing. So that's the reason why when Adobe added 3D capabilities to the Flash player, we wanted to make sure that Unity would be the best tool to create such content. When we started on this, we, we didn't really expect it to, to get that far. I mean, it, it initially also didn't start directly as a, as a real product, but as our, our users started to get a demand for Flash or, or started to uh, get a need for Flash, we decided to do it. One of the, the, the really nice things for us is to see that the initial expectations we had from running Unity on, on top of the Flash player weren't as high as what, what we're seeing now, even in, in quality, but also performance in, in user experience. Around Christmas, we did a public preview, which was like the first time that we sent our work uh, into the public. And we were very curious what was going to happen because we actually sent out a pretty rough build. We were not really sure, like, is are people just going to yell at us or uh, like are they going to do something else? But uh, actually, it turns out they sent like a whole bunch of great games like in no time. So we were very, very uh, happily surprised. Uh, we actually ran a contest where uh, over Christmas uh, we had a prize for the person that could that would really like put the product to the test and make make something great with it. Uh, and we were just overwhelmed with the amount of entries and also with the quality of the entries. We were like, yes. I don't think any of us really expected that the feedback would be like, whoa. The quality of the content and the fun in the games and, and even the, the visual quality of the products uh, we saw coming back, it's amazing. Um, people had to jump through hoops and uh, that's something, of course, we don't want. We want this product to be as polished as possible. But even with that beta version, such really nice things were created already. So some of the more difficult problems that we ran into while developing the product is that uh, Unity, is a, Unity is a very optimized C++ engine. And when our users uh, write games in it, they actually write games in like our, our JavaScript-like language or in C-sharp, both of which are like .NET-based languages, um, neither of which uh, are ActionScript. But if you make a Flash game, it has to run in ActionScript. So, like the, the like our work has mostly been taking Unity C++ code base and finding a way to to automatically translate that to ActionScript. I think I counted at some point we use like six different compilers and five different code converters. We the the code from when you make your game to when it runs in the Swift actually it goes through many phases and changes and uh, stages. Uh, but the great thing is, like, if like in the in the end, it works the same uh, as it works on iPhone, or as it works in your editor, or as it works with the Unity web player, or as it works on Xbox. So it really fits into Unity's idea that you should only develop your game once, and if you decide that you want to target a new platform, that does not require you to like rewrite the whole technology for your game. Yeah, the whole team is like Sky Safari, Sky Safari Fleet. I have like 10 backflips, uh, is my record right now. Aras has 12. But he's not on Game Center, so no one takes his word for it.